I'ma tell you, just like Miss Betty Burnt Out told me. Mm -mm. See, the problem is, you stuck in your feelings. You just like Miss Betty Burnt Out used to be. See, my favorite letter in the alphabet is X. Cause my ex-husband used to have me so stuck in my feelings, I didn't know if I was coming, if I was going. See, the problem was, the facts were, he was a skirt chaser. And I caught him red-headed with my arch rival, Hattie Lane Jones. And I want to tell you, I twisted on him like an F5 tornado. And the facts are telling you that that guy is a skirt chaser. The facts are telling you that that girl, she's a hopeless case. But you so stuck in your feelings, you like I used to be. Oh, I can't live without this man. You think I can't live without this woman? Yes, you can. You just gotta get out of your feelings. And you gotta let the facts lead you. And you gotta do like Miss Betty Birdie did. When you find out that he's a skirt chaser, and he's lying to you, and he's betraying your trust. When you find out that she ain't no good, and she's lying to you, and she's betraying your trust, you gotta simply tell him, Blah! Be gone. <laughs> she definitely has a way with words. But what she's trying to get you to understand is the facts in any situation, they paint a very, very vivid picture. And we have to be very, very careful not to let our feelings blind us, not to let our feelings cloud us to the facts. See, the facts are telling you that you're struggling to lose weight because you're taking in more calories than you're burning. But your feelings are telling you that it's perfectly okay to have another donut, and then another donut, and then another donut. If you're really serious about making a change to your physical appearance and making a change and living more of a healthy lifestyle, you gotta get out of your feelings and you gotta get into the facts. See, the facts are telling you that you are struggling to make ends meet. You're struggling to pay your bills. But your feelings are telling you you ain't taking nothing from nobody. It's your way or the highway. I wish somebody would say something to me at my job. I wish he would. I wish she would. They better not. No, I'm from the hood. They bet not say the wrong thing to me. Because I'm going to go off. And I don't care what happens. And that's exactly what you do. No self-control whatsoever. And those are the facts. You wind up losing your job. You wind up messing up your credit. All because... You let your doggone pride get in the way. You never would take a second and self-assess. You don't have your own back. You expect everybody else to have your back. Get out your feelings and get into the facts. See, the facts are telling you that you're about to flunk out of school. Grades just tore up. But your feelings are telling you it's okay to surf on social media for hours. It's okay to play the video game. It's okay to be on the phone. It's okay to go hang out. See, the champions, the winners, the overcomers, those that fall down and get back up, at some point, they found a way to overcome their feelings and let the facts lead them and let their intuition lead them. And that's what I'm imploring you to do, starting right now whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in school, whether it's your job, whether it's with your health. I don't care what it is. The facts are telling you one thing, and I know I'm not gonna you now, for <laughs> It's just so hard, I try. But I just can't get out of my feelings, I can't stop. Yes, you can, because you're not the first person to ever feel some type of way about a situation, overcome it, and move on and never look back. Stop looking back. Stop feeding your mind negativity. I know. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Sometimes the solution is simple. But the execution to correct it is hard. So this is the moment that you become a winner. This is the moment that you become a champion. This is the moment that you become an overcomer. And you tell yourself, you say, self. No longer will I allow my feelings to control my actions. I have the internal strength 
to cut it off. Sometimes you got to cut the head off. The facts are telling you one thing. Be led by the facts. And the moment you make that adjustment, you'll see the universe. And things start happening seemingly out of nowhere that puts you in a position to climb over the hump and make each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.